Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, a few games got called off over the previous weekend due to the weather. Um, you know, the rain, the, uh, rain and obviously weather like that. And the lower league, picture, uh, lower league pitches, I should say, um, really do struggle to cope with it. I know we've had a lot, so... You know, I was expecting the odd game to be called off. Um, two games called off overall, so not too bad. Um, I know the champ, one of the championship games got uh, called off as well because of the rain. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what I'm trying to do, try to get some thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me is by sharing my videos, letting people know about this channel. And let's see if we can do it together. Once that goal is reached, you will it'll be a special video um it'd be better to do it this season than next and that would become clearer in the video if you know what i mean um but as i said till we get that you till we get to that goal um you know you ain't gonna really understand it but obviously as soon as we've done it you know as soon as the video is uploaded it'll come at a brighter a lot quicker while I've said it this way and um, while we'd rather do it this side of the season than the next side but anyway guys you know what I do so guys you know what to do subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game we have to kick off with is AFC Wimbledon versus Lincoln Wimbledon did not play I'm guessing they should have played Barry and um, you know and I think where Wimbledon is the pitch if they were at home we're we'll able to handle the rain anyway. Um, Lincoln game called off. Uh, supposed to play Bolton at home. Um, I feel really downhearted for some football fans, especially if you're coming from Bolton to Lincoln. Uh, you know, it's not. It's really not nice when you travel and you travel all the way to a away game and your fan has been called off. Um, but obviously the pitch couldn't handle the uh, the rain, so you know I had to call it off. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a two-one Lincoln City win. My next one is Blackpool versus Peterborough. Peterborough two-two at home against Coventry. Great point for Peterborough. Blackpool nil-nil away to Burton Albion. Disappointing on the um. Blackpool perspective, um, you know, only drawing uh, Burton Albion away from home nil nil. Yeah, probably a bit gutted about that. Um, great point for Peter Bar, I've just said. Um, you know, Coventry are doing well of late. Um, as I said, just a bit disappointed of a Blackburn, a uh, Blackpool nil nil. Um, with that one. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton versus Fleetwood. And I mentioned Bolton. Um, postponed game, supposed to play Lincoln away from home. Fleetwood uh, beating MK Dons 1 0 at home. Um, great point for. Uh, great three points for uh, Fleetwood. Expecting nothing less though of that game, really. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 Fleetwood Town win. My next one is Coventry versus Akrook and Stanley. Coventry 2 2 away to Peterborough. Disappointing day. For Coventry, only picking a point up against Peterborough. Akrick and Stanley losing 1 0 at home to Gillingham. Bit disappointed on the Akrick point of view as well, if you know what I mean, because of how well Akrick have been doing. Um, as I said, disappointing day for Coventry, only getting a point away to Peterborough. Probably deserve more, but you know, this really is a hard division. Um, I know Peterborough and Doing too bad this season either, so you can always look on the benefit side of that. You're going away from home, 
against Peter R. You know, that's a good point. But obviously, you're the fans. You look at the results whatever way you want to. I'll, I'll just put my own personal opinion on it. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Doncaster versus Burton Albion. Burton Albion nil nil at home to Blackpool. Great point for Burton Albion. Doncaster nil uh, nil. And uh, sorry, called off game. Supposed to be travelling out Rovers away from home. Um, you know, with the lights of. Um, you know, Doncaster being away from home, uh, I think I put down to win that one. I'll still remain that way for the time being. If you would like to see me do another prediction on the call off games, please feel feel free to put it down in the comments below. And I'll do that for you. Um, as I said, great point for Burton Albion, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Doncaster win. My next one is Gillingham versus Rotherham. Gillingham beating African Stanley 1 0 away from home. Rotherham losing 1 0 at home to Wicked Wanderers. Disappointing day for Rotherham. Probably deserve a bit more um, of what you know they got. But Wicked ain't doing too badly this season either. Um, you know, Gillingham beating. Akaka and Stanley 1 0 away from home, probably a bit expected overall. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is MK Dons versus Tramia. MK Dons losing 1 0 away from home to Fleetwood Town. Tramia game postponed to get supposed to play Doncaster. Um, you know, supposed to play Doncaster at home. Uh, see, this worries me because of obviously what we got the Christmas period coming up as well. So it's gonna be interesting for all these League One Two pitches to see how they handle the uh, freezing temperatures that we, you know, most likely get around Christmas. Not quite as cold for it to snow, right? Um. But, you know, MK Dons losing 1 0 away to Fleetwood. Probably a bit, a bit expected. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Portsmouth versus Oxford United. Oxford beating Rochdale 3 0 at home. Portsmouth 2 2 away to Bristol Rovers. Quite turn them up in that game as well, if I remember rightly. Um, you know, the lights of you know what, what Portsmouth can do. I think they went turn them up. Um, remind me if you can, did Portsmouth go turn them up in that game? Um, if they did, disappointing day for Portsmouth, but great comeback from Bristol Rovers. Um, Oxford 3 0 at home to um, Watchdale. Great three points for Oxford, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Oxford United win. My next one is Rochdale versus Bristol Rovers. And just as you mentioned, Bristol Rovers 2 2 at home to Portsmouth. Rochdale losing 3 0 away to Oxford. Just as you mentioned, both results. Um, great point for Bristol Rovers. Uh, disappointing day for Watchdale, but I couldn't expect nothing more from Watchdale, if I'm all honest. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Bristol Rovers win. My next one is Sunderland versus Southend United. Southend United beat a losing 3 1 to Itrish Town at home. Sunderland. Losing 1 0 away from home to Shrewsbury Town. Great point. Um, you know, great points for Shrewsbury. Um, disappointing day for Sunderland, disappointing day for Southampton. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 
nil scoreline to Sunderland for that one. My last one for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus Shrewsbury Town. Shrewsbury beating um, Sunderland 1-0 at home. Wickham Wanderers beating Wolfram 1-0 away from home. Great three points for both clubs. Um, you know, with the likes of where Sunderland are, where Sunderland are aiming. Um, great three points for Wickham. Um, I'd be very surprised at this present time. Um, ask me around again about Christmas, after the Christmas period. I'd be very surprised at this moment in time if Wickham do not get promoted. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3 0 Wickham Wanderers win. But anyway, guys, you know what? Do give it a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.